Today we're going to talk about three unexpected or maybe unique uses for windshield washer fluid. Hi, Chad here with Purple Car Life. We are in the middle of winter now, and that means in Northwest Pennsylvania, grimy roads. As the snow melts, when the snow is coming down, anytime there's that salt and grime on the road, you go through a lot of windshield washer fluid. Now there's this blue stuff, it says minus 20. I don't believe it. On these single digit days, this stuff will freeze up on the windshield. So, so in the really cold part of winter, or if you're somewhere that gets a lot colder than us in Northwest Pennsylvania, I recommend the de-icer windshield washer fluid. Now I go through a lot of this right now because I'm using my windshield wipers a lot to clear off all that stuff that accumulates on the window when you're trying to drive. Now sometimes this is purple, sometimes it's orange. Just look for the stuff that says de-icer. Now I've got another tip of use for this. Stay tuned. If you've been watching the channel, you know that on Sunday I released a video about cleaning up after that ice and snowstorm. You can see here on the sidewalk, there's still quite a bit of that ice. It's just about impossible to shovel, shovel off the sidewalk because it's ice underneath the snow. So you can see I've got all the snow off, but the ice is still here. A little bit of this helps out with that also. Just sprinkle it. And this will help melt through that ice so that you can scrape it off with the shovel. I also use this on the steps. So if these steps get that real thin coat of ice, it's almost impossible to get off. I just sprinkle a little bit of the de-icer windshield washer fluid on it, melts that layer right away makes them safe to walk up. I don't like to use salt here on the sidewalk. Salt is really hard on concrete, so I prefer to keep salt off the sidewalk. It's also bad for Olive's paws to get that rock salt on her feet. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some snow blowing but here's another tip for use for that de-icer windshield washer fluid. Remember I said how this door gets really hard to open in the winter time? That, that rubber strip actually freezes to the concrete. And there are some ways to try to keep that from happening. But what I found is once it's frozen down, this big door is just about impossible to lift up. So the same solution here, just put a little bit of windshield washer fluid right along the edge, and that'll help thaw out that ice that's holding the door down. You can do the same thing on the inside, and I'll put an Amazon affiliate link to this type of de-icer washer fluid down below in the description. In a previous video, and I'll put a link to it up above, I talked about some of the major uses for the Toro Power Max, even though we have a snow plow. Snow plow does a lot of the driveway for us, but the Power Max is really useful for a couple things. First of all, the end of the driveway when it gets plowed in. Second of all, the sidewalks along the side of the house. And third, the pooping pads for all of. We've got that really heavy layer of ice with snow on top. I haven't had a chance to get out and make those pads, but I'm going to do it today before it gets dark. We use the Power Max 828 clear out those pads. Now this is going to be hard stuff for the snow blower because it's snow, several inches of ice, then four to six inches of snow up on top. Is it ice? Happening, Olive. What's oh, he? Yeah. Is that what it is? Solid ice down in there. So what happened here was the snow down in the auger froze into solid ice. So now it won't let it spin. I'm going to use some windshield washer fluid to get it thawed out in there. Is that why it had trouble starting too? 
Yeah, because I started out. Okay, let's see if that loosened it up. So you can see what's happening here. I'm not actually down in the snowfall. There's this crusty layer of ice on top. And then underneath that, you can kind of see the layers here, snow, and then this thick layer. That's that approximately two inches of ice balls that we got. And that's what I'm actually standing up on top of. You can crunch down through it. But the snow blower is not able to go. Usually you take it the whole way down to the grass. Yeah. It's just so thick and so sturdy that the snow blower is floating right on top of it. So we'll just do that though. We'll have to clear. We're only clearing about the four inches of snow that came on top of that ice pack. We'll just do this poop and loop. Poop and loop. And then we should be good to go. All of is he making you a poop and loop? Huh? Are you silly? Here we got down to the grass on the downhill slope. Yeah, it's taller than your boot. Yeah.
not quite as clean of a path as the last time I did it. This is tough stuff to get through, like that video that I released on Sunday. We're not used to getting this snow, then several inches of ice, and then snow again. It's hard stuff to cut through, and even the weight of the snow blower won't cut down through that, so it kind of floats up on top. But still, made some pooping paths for Olive. I'll be going to keep those cleared out. We're supposed to get more snow all week long this week. So again, we're making up for that lack of snow for the first half of the winter, kind of catching up now. So I'm going to go ahead and make one more path out here, and then we'll call it a day. It's getting kind of dark out. Of course, I do have my sunglasses <laughs> on, so. Didn't the farmer's almanac predict a snowy and icy winter? Yes, they had said it would be more snowy than normal, and everybody thought they were wrong since we didn't get anything until January, but from January 15th on, We've had snow just about every day. Not always accumulating snow, but typically flurries in the air. Well, we had probably 20 inches of snow before this past week, before we got more snow right. and ice. Yep. I think maybe Mackenzie and I will go back to Florida. Yeah. I'm thinking about moving to the upper peninsula of Michigan. I'd like to get a little bit more snow. I'll visit you in the summer. So it's getting to be dark here, but we did get some poop and pads cleared out. Um, the, the snow blower did as good as it's going to do in a situation like this, where that snows just layer upon ice, upon snow, upon ice, really difficult to get down through. You don't even need snowshoes to walk across this snow. You'll stay right up on top of it. So it's a unique situation, different kind of snow than we're used to. Usually we get that lake effect snow that's really deep, heavy, wet snow, but you can cut right through it with the snow plow or the snow blower. This stuff's a little bit different. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, if it entertained you or gave you information you didn't have before, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, share with your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber, you know what to do. We'll see you the next time.